and this is actually a bonus lecture. I was not going to include it, but since we have been talking about uh, microfiltration, ultrafiltration, and reverse osmosis, the only one left was nanofiltration, and I say why not just give a very quick overview. Nanofiltration membranes have pores close to one or lower amount of nanometers, and this is essentially two ions or small molecules to ions, as you can see it here. Typical uh, nanofiltration membranes pass a higher percentage of monovalent salt ions than divalent and trivalent ions. So, of course, depending on the size, you will see that smaller ions, monovalent stands for plus one, let it be sodium. Then we have divalent, which is maybe calcium. And then we have trivalent, which I don't know, maybe aluminum. So meaning that they will be able to pass through the sizes. And of course, if this has the size, exact size of aluminum plus three, remember that according to ionic radius, aluminum plus three is the largest one and sodium plus one is the smallest one. Well, then this will pass through very easily, maybe at the rate of 10x. Then we have calcium. Maybe this passes at a rate of 2x, 10x. And maybe aluminum will not pass or pass at slow rates, maybe 0.1x, I don't know. But the general idea you have it. The smaller ions will pass faster. And we are not so extreme into reverse osmosis, which we can literally control which type of ions pass and which one do not. But nanofiltration is in that gray area between ultrafiltration and reverse osmosis. Most nanofiltration membranes polymer carry formal charges which excludes higher valence ions, more than monovalence from passing through the membrane. So essentially, if you want to allow monovalent ions such as sodium, chloride, and potassium, and so on, definitely use this type of material. Nanofiltration is great for this. And the NF membranes span the gap between reverse osmosis and ultrafiltration, which I think is great because reverse osmosis is, as stated before, one very extreme case, and ultrafiltration is in the middle ground. So I think this gray area is perfectly covered by nanofiltration. And yeah, guys, that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, the nanofilters, you can find them online. It's only regarding sizes, but the idea is the, on the understanding, I will be happier if you actually get the idea on sizes rather than memorizing the actual number and memorizing the application and so on. I want you to better get the size magnitude right here.